2 million square feet of exhibit space, 160,000 people, and all the cool cars and tricked out trucks you can handle. It's the annual SEMA show in Las Vegas, and Performance TV has your VIP ticket. Hey everybody, Performance TV is back. 2019 SEMA show, Joe and Kathy together again. That's right, with the most highly anticipated road trip for us each and every year with all of the excitement that SEMA has to offer. Cool cars, race cars, trucks, we're gonna see them all. What do you say, let's hit it. wild rides and ratical rides here at SEMA and that's exactly what we have right here. Now you may look at this and like what is it? Well it's actually the very first year El Camino 1959 but it doesn't look anything like it came out of the factory and with over 800 horses under the hood doors are completely gone the rear of the car is completely changed this thing is so much fun. Check out this funny car Ohio George Montgomery it is a forensic restoration, meaning they tried to make it absolutely perfect, right down to the magnesium front wheels on back, Boss 429, twin turbo, mechanical fuel injection, everything is absolutely correct. The owner, Nick White, says it has got the thumbs up from Ohio George himself. If you have a ride that you want to make your very own and make it super nice, tell you what, you need to check out Burl's Hypnotic Customs. Now, Burl, the 66 Lincoln that you guys have done, it is gorgeous, but it still looks like a 66 Lincoln. Well, thank you, Kathy. Yeah, that was the idea, was to make a car with a lot of cool features, custom features, but don't lose the originality of the car, keep the nostalgic fact of the car still remaining in the, in the vehicle. And very drivable. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's as cool as the car is, the funnest part is driving it. This may be your first custom build, but you guys and, and your people in your shop have been in business doing auto body work for years. Oh, absolutely. We've been in business for 23 years. Uh, I grew up in the business, and now that we have our collision centers, we really wanted to go back to our roots, which is building cars, customizing cars. Let's say I've got a car, but I don't even know where to start. Well, first thing you do is we just talk about it. Give me, give me your thoughts, your ideas. What are you looking for in the car? Let's talk about your budget, and then we'll work together. And I, I want the car to be what you want it to be, not what I want it to be. Because you can get as wild or crazy or keep it as mild as you want. Absolutely. It's all up to you. So whatever your ride may be, if you want to make it crazy, but you want to make it your own, and like this Lincoln, still drivable, check out their website at burlshypnoticcustoms.com. Here at SEMA, with all the exotics and concept cars, wheels and tires are very important. And that's why we're checking out Corleone Forge. Mo, you've got amazing wheels. These cars have to have custom wheels. Tell me about yours. Well, first, I thank you guys for coming by. The wheels built out of Texas is all U.S. made. And it's forged wheels. It's all U.S. made products. So we make them for trucks, dualies, um, uh, donks, old schools, and exotic cars, and every car has been built, we make wheels for it though. The color combinations are the first thing that caught my eye. Colors, I mean basically whatever people require. So not whatever's in the wall, they come with it. Whatever colors you require, we can make that colors and, and ship them to you though. The design's outrageous. How does that process work? Um, it's, it's pretty amazing because we've been in, in this industry over 15 years, not building the wheels, but dealing with the, a customer to know what they like. So me and a couple of my guys, we come up with it. It takes us a couple of hours to make a design. But, you know, we really all of us have to like it before we even put it out there. So. They are amazing. Where can people find out more information? Well, they can go on www.colionforge. Dot com and our website they can find us there or Instagram or Facebook we're on all three of them though. we've just scratched the surface here at SEMA so much more to see so keep it right here on performance TV performance TV is brought to you by AP laser leading the way easy spare wheel protect your vehicle in style RockAuto.com, 
all the parts your car will ever need. In by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Welcome back to Performance TV from the Las Vegas Convention Center. For over half a century, the SEMA show has been the epicenter for all things automotive, and it keeps growing every single year. So many beautiful paint jobs here at SEMA. Well, how did they happen? They happen in a paint booth. How about a mobile paint booth? Tom is here going to tell us how any one of us can have a mobile paint booth. Tom, SEMA, big one for you. Absolutely. We love this show. It gets everybody an opportunity to come fill the booth, touch it, fill the airflow, see the quality of paint work that comes out of it. You'll see we got a 1958 Volkswagen bus that was prime painted inside one of our 23 by 15 booths. It's such a fantastic show for us. The idea that people can touch and feel it, that's got to be very helpful to you. People asking how much it weighs, how easy does it move, how long do the blowers last, all easily uh, answer questions here. Exactly. And everybody in the back of their mind has a you know, question on durability. How's it going to hold up? How's it, you know, if I use it outdoors, if I use it indoors, what about the weather? What about the power? And we can answer everything and it can, you know, it helps them feel more comfortable with their purchase. Exchanging the air, that's a big part of it. This thing does a great job. Absolutely, it's a positive pressure. This one's a 23 by 15. So you're looking at roughly 37 air changes an hour. And the idea that you can do custom work, you can move your paint booth to where the work is, that's gotta be a great point. It is, you know, if you're not a full-time painter or your shop or you don't wanna you know, use it, you turn around, you fold it up and you put it away. You know, most paint booths, they suck up a minimum 500 square feet. That's valuable real estate. I love it and I know everyone's gonna love it too. Check out the website for more information. So much time and effort is put into vehicles to get them SEMA ready, just like this car that was here from Vermont, sitting out in the parking lot, in the trailer, ready to go. But the Wednesday before SEMA, it was stolen. Thursday, 14 car police chase, car T-boning into the police officer. It was then in police custody. It was released on Friday, but it did make it to the SEMA show on Tuesday for everybody to see just what went down. As a drag racer, when I think 68 Barracudas, I think wheel stands. This one, much different. Slammed on the ground, thanks to the folks at Garrett's Rod Shop. Attention to detail in what they call the aquarium, the matte red leather interior, six-speed Tremec transmission, but up front, the Tour de Force, amazing 6.1 liter Hemi Magnuson supercharger. I think I'm in love. You got a pickup truck and you want to be able to use the bed of your truck for items after you're shopping and whatever and not have to jump all the way up to get them and hey you know what with unruly we can do that joe yes absolutely with unruly you know shift happens things go all over the truck bed with unruly you actually can use the cargo management system to store golf clubs groceries any items that you need they're they're at your fingertips when you drop your tailgate and ready for access you know and i'm seeing the straps too so like you could you know strap stuff down Oh, absolutely. It keeps them in place. This way it doesn't shift around inside our management system also. What if I want to use the bed of the truck as you normally would? Yeah, well, the great thing about Unruly is it folds in, in minutes. It folds to the side right behind the wheel well, so you have complete access to the truck bed. Any particular make and model that you're making these for right now? Yeah, we're starting out with Ford. We're going to go to the other OEMs uh, after that, but the initial launch we're doing, we're starting with Ford products. This is not the only unruly cargo management system that, that you guys have. You're also building something else as well. Yeah, we have a standard box that we have that, that you can use to lock up your guns. You can lock up tools. You can do whatever you need. It, it quick release latches on the sides, lets you actually remove the box within minutes and put it in your garage so you still can get full access to your truck bed. All right, go to their website to find out more at stayunruly.com. One of our favorites at Performance TV is Magic Creeper. Here at the SEMA show, Brittany, for those who have never seen it, tell us about it. Yeah, you bet. So the Magic Creeper is a wheelless mechanics creeper. It works on any surface. It has multiple uses. You can drop it down, kneel on it if you're changing a tire. The primary use, however, is getting it underneath the car. Well, let's put it to the test here on the SEMA show floor. So this is how you keep it stored in its rolled up position. Makes it really easy to use when you're ready. Roll it out underneath the car. You sit on the edge of it. This gives you the most travel, about four and a half to five feet. And I like that I can move around. You can move side to side a couple feet. Really easy to use. If you have nuts, bolts, it'll go right over the top of it. That is excellent. Also used for moving heavy stuff in the bed of your truck. You bet. So easy. It's about a 60 pound tire. Moves really easily. And countless uses that we can't cover here, yeah. whether it be working on the side of the road, moving heavy things, super convenient, and travels very well. You bet, and it works on any surface. So if you're in the gravel, grass, dirt, in your driveway where there's uneven concrete, 
It works on any surface. Where can we find out more information? Magiccreeper.com. So exciting to see all of the new stuff here at SEMA, like this 2020 GR Supra Hyper Boost Edition. Now, this car is pretty special with this 20 piece carbon fiber body kit. It gives it really wide shoulders and, of course, a very aggressive stance that you're going to need to go with the 750 horse that's under the hood and the very nice three piece wheels with a carbon fiber barrel to get you down the highway and around the racetrack. That's just one of many vehicles that we're seeing here at SEMA. We'll have a whole lot more just like this coming up with more of Performance TV. Welcome back to Performance TV. We are in Las Vegas at the annual SEMA show and we are keeping things cool. I like to keep my beverages cool, especially if I'm out on the boat or racing or whatever. And Don, we're going to be talking about a cooler, but it's not just any cooler. No, it's called MagnaCool for a reason. It's a top-notch cooler with a magnetic attachment system. So you can put it in the bed of your UTV, your truck. You can put it anywhere where you've got steel to stick it to. And if you don't have steel, we have adjustment plates to put it on boats. We have every mounting system you could possibly think of. And the, I mean, this cooler, I've, I've seen some video of this thing. It's not going anywhere. We've tested the cooler on top of a buggy going 95 miles an hour down the road. We don't suggest you do that, but it tested and did just fine. Not only that, but you have all different types of sizes too. Yes, we go all the way from a 12 can to a 48 can. These things are built to be rugged because, you know, you're not just taking them out to the picnic or whatever. I mean, you're taking them out, like you said, with the UTVs and, and whatever. They're built very well inside. Yes, and it's on a plate system. So if you do, don't want to use the magnets on it, you just remove the plate from the bottom of the cooler and you can use it as an everyday cooler. Very cool idea. Find out more. Go to their website at magnacool.com. Check out this beauty. It's a 1953 Buick Special by Chris Carlson Hot Rods. And they pulled out all the stops, two kinds of chrome, brushed and polished, metal flake paint, absolutely perfect. It's got the ports, the leather interior, convertible top, supple and spectacular. I love it. I want to drive it. And it is a she. And you got to know, her name is Jolene. Painless dent repair, PDR, you know what? There's a new tool that you have just developed, Dwayne, that can actually help other folks take care of this stuff at home. But you have an extensive background in, in the painless dent repair. Uh, yes, ma'am. I was trained in 1994 for PDR, so I'm about 25 years of painless dent repair, hail repair. And now you've come out with a ding tool. I have, right here, the ding tool. Tell us how it works. Uh, the ding tool, most PDR guys, we have one point of contact when we're, when we're massaging the dent out. And what I wanted to do is simplify the process somewhat so that a, an auto body technician or somebody in a satellite industry can perform some of the dent repair. And what this tool does is there are pins on one end, an automatic center punch through the middle, and then it's an adjustable cap for the spring load, which we can demonstrate in a second. Yeah, it's all about the snap. Show us how it's done. And there you go. So we have the ding tool, but you're also working on some other products as well, Dwayne. Uh, yes, ma'am. With the same uh, technology with the pins, we have a, I have a utility patent on all of the pin delivering process for paintlet dent repair. And with it, as you can see, all of the pins move. You can drive those into the dents and it still helps remove the dent. This tool itself has multiple adapters on the top uh, for different applications, not yet readily available, but it's close. I tell you what, find out about this and more. Go to their website at dingtool.com. The last time we saw Sergio from Goonie Wheel, it was in the Performance TV studios, and now you're winning awards at SEMA. What a year. Yeah, Joe, what a year for me. It's been a fantastic year for the Goonie Wheel. You know, I started a year ago. You guys were part of that startup, believe it or not. It's been a great journey for me. Been a, you know, I've, I've started a great relationship with LKQ Keystone. We're getting a lot of wheels out there, and we are helping the body shop industry keeping cars mobile. One size fits all. Show us how it works. Yeah, that's right. So this is the Goonie Wheel 45, and you'll see we've got the 4 and 5 lug configuration going on here from 100 PCD all the way up to 137 PCD. That fits a wide range, if not every car out there. I haven't come across a car that I cannot fit my Goonie wheels on. If you do have a bigger brake caliper, make sure to get yourself one of the Goonie spacers. Gives you a little bit more offset if needed. And that way they don't have to go hold on to those OE wheels and tires. Correct, yeah. You can get rid of all that batch of old tires that you've got lying around the shop. 
get yourself a set of Goonie wheels and it'll keep your cycle time in your shop a lot, lot less. And you're working on a spare tire? Correct, yeah. So we're working on a new new product called the Goonie Spare. That'll be a pneumatic version for the road. It'll be a 50 mile per hour spare wheel, universal uh, spare wheel, fits all cars. Do not get stranded anymore. Get a Goonie Spare. So true. Great to see you're doing well. Where can we find out more information? You can go to my website, www.gooniewheel.com. It's not all about shiny new and chrome, sometimes having fun. It's just finding a truck like this guy did, this 1951 Willis from an auction site. You know what he did? He took it out just as you see it. No phones, no GPS, no nothing like that on a 2,000 mile trip. But you know what? The other guys that were out on the trail with him, they weren't going to leave him behind because at the end of the day, guess who was carrying all the adult fun? We've just scratched the surface here at SEMA. So much more to see, so keep it right here on Performance TV. Performance TV is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking header bolt. Locking kits now available for all turbo applications. Go to stage8.com. Clamp tight, the clamp making tool. Burl's Hypnotic Customs, a leader in restoration and customization. And by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Welcome back to Performance TV from the SEMA Show, the new product showcase, always showcasing brand new stuff. And we're going to learn about a new impact wrench right now with Ryan Beat from Chicago Pneumatic. Ryan, what's new about this impact? Well, it's our new Chicago Pneumatic CP7755. It's our latest, greatest impact wrench. Uh, delivers a whopping 955 foot-pounds of torque. Has a patent-pending uh, Airflex mini swivel nozzle on it, as well as uh, comfortability. This tool is uh, really the cat's meow of uh, impact wrenches with 11 different settings um, you know, uh, of speed and adjustability. Uh, you can really kind of do whatever you want. Talk about the adjustability. Why would that be important to a general mechanic or a wheel and tire shop? Yeah, with 11 different speed settings as far as uh, torque setting and as well as uh, full power uh, really allows the general mechanic to uh, tighten things and get things zipped down first without hitting them with full power and full torque you know most people start things with fingers um, you know this is the perfect uh, happy medium of being able to start a bolt or start lug nuts without the chance of cross threading things sounds like it would be very helpful to the entrepreneurs and businesses out there that do this for a living where can we find out more information on this new impact you can find out information on this new impact at www.cp.com we are thinking outside of the bed here at Bullet Liner. And Josh, you guys are actually getting ready to do a big celebration this year. 10 years in business, you're constantly expanding, but you guys have some great business opportunities for folks that would like to get involved. Absolutely, we're coming into 10 years. We've set up over 300 dealers nationwide already. So the beautiful thing about our business is if you're wanting to enter the truck accessory business from scratch, we can help you do that. If you're looking to diversify your existing business, that's our specialty. So very good time to be a bullet liner dealer. Just for give someone a quick background on what is bullet liner. So bullet liner is a polyurethane, polyurea hybrid protective coating. Um, we've been in the industry a long time. I think what separates us from our competitors is we run a no franchise business model. So there's no royalties or contracts or franchise fees of any kind. Great product, really high margin. Um, and our end users, the customers, we offer them a lifetime warranty on this product so they can rest assured their, their truck's going to be taken care of. Yes, and it takes care of the truck for sure because this stuff doesn't crack. I mean, it can definitely handle all of the elements. Absolutely. So we have lifetime warranty against uh, chipping, peeling, blistering, bubbling, anything like that. You throw something in there, it nicks it, we're going to cover it, no questions asked. Well, if you want to find out about the product itself and maybe even getting in business for yourself, go to their website at bulletliner.com. It would be nice to be able to go out and buy all brand new chrome and shiny new paint, but sometimes you've got to restore what you've got, and that's where Vonda comes in. Vonda, tell me about Rock Oz. Rock Oz is a revolution of new company that's coming into the market. We have two products, chrome restoration and clear coat restoration. Now, how does it work? Well, the clear coat restoration will actually penetrate your clear coat, pull out whatever's in there, whether it's transfer paint, whether it's tar, whether you know it's tire, overspray, and it actually pulls it out of the clear coat and doesn't damage the clear coat, no deterioration, no buffing required, and it leaves it shiny and new like, like before it ever got anything on it. What about the chrome? the chrome? The chrome will do a lot of the same things that you think about making it back to new, clear off oxidation. Again, it's just a polish, almost like a polish, uh, easy formula that you rub on. 
uh, with a little applicator pad, wipe it off with a microfiber, leaves it shiny, takes off the rust, takes off the oxidation, um, leaves it like unbelievably shiny after in, in very quickly. Where can we find out more information? When you come to the SEMA show, you expect to see domestic hot rods, but how about this one from Japan? We're talking about a 1966 Datsun Roadster with an S14 driveline with the SR20 DET engine, where D stands for dual overhead cam, E stands for electronic fuel injection, and T for a turbocharger. You put it all together with a Ferrari F40 paint job, and I'm talking about a real hot rod. Not only neat cars and bikes here at SEMA, but ones with really interesting stories like this bike that a young man built for his father, like the bike that he used to be riding around on in the early 70s in Hawaii. This one, though, got a little bit of an upgrade with a shovelhead 80cc engine and a really cool paint job. This would be fun to take out for a spin. Earlier in the show, we saw a 66 Datsun. That was a very nice car, but this is the evolution. The Nissan GT-R, Japan's newest monster. And this one, I have to love it because it's got candy red paint. The thing that blows my mind are the effects in the hood. They ground it down, it's bare aluminum, painted it back up, and it gives the illusion of movement. You know, when we come to SEMA, we get really excited about all of the outrageous builds, but we also look forward to the release of brand new models like the highly anticipated C8 2020 Corvette, which is even more impressive in person than any pictures can show. But that's what the aftermarket's all about too, because then we can find out about new parts that we can make this Corvette all our own. You know what? There's so much to see at SEMA. We're going to have a whole nother episode coming up next week on Performance TV. See you then.